<laughs> Floppy Bird makes for an entertaining half an hour for some reason. I don't know why. Any chance of Devil May Cry want to free since now of HD ports? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know though, like... For an HD stuff, I don't know if there's enough story to the Devil May Cry games. It's a lot of, like, action. It's satisfying to play. They're, great. they're good games, don't get me wrong. It's satisfying to play, but I don't know if they're, um... I did, I did, I mean... I did Devil May Cry 3. Was it 3 or 4? It might have been 4, actually. I think it was 4. Like, years back on YouTube, didn't it? And... Like I say, it just became a bit repetitive. I appreciate the action and stuff like that. And it, it's a good game to pot away at for me and stuff like that. But I just don't know if it's conducive to a playthrough with me personally. Definitely a, a personal preference. Wouldn't it make more sense just to get Titanfall and play that until the PC version of Dark Souls 2? It would make more sense and it would be cheaper, but it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. There's no way. You see, God knows when the PC version of Titan, um, Dark Souls 2 is coming out. There's no release date for it yet. People say March, but the developers don't bloody say March. There's, there's no confirmed date for it yet. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, it could be two months. And considering how much I'm going to slam it over the course of a week or two, then I'm going to get money's worth out of it regardless, so no worries. See you, dude. I'm gonna have a rough try at pronouncing your name. Ikamusumegaso. Ik Ikamusumegaso. Well, maybe more Japanese sounding than that, but yeah. I think, that's, I think that's as close as I'm gonna get, but see you, dude. Cheers for watching. But... Like I say, I just, I just don't trust when the PC version's coming out. Oh, James Aria as well. We, I saw hello question mark and I'm like, I'm sure that, yep, yeah, that's James. <laughs> but they haven't said a day yet and that makes me worried. You know, we're a month, less than a month away. Not far off three weeks away from the um, 360 and PS3 version of D Dark Souls 2 and no PC date yet. That worries me. I hope I'm wrong. Don't get me wrong, I hope I'm wrong, and they do release it in March, at which point I go, I'll oh, see you awesome day, at which point I go, whoops, I've just spent £35 on an Xbox 360 version, and I've not even finished it yet, and now I'm re-rolling on the PC. Something tells me that isn't going to happen though, something tells me I'm going to rinse through Dark Souls 2, and I could probably do it a second or a third time, or even more maybe, before the PC version comes out. I expect I'm going to be fairly savvy with the game, before the PC version comes out, so... I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong, because I'd rather play it on the PC. It looks better, it runs better, there'll be more people that I know playing it on the PC, it will be better. But I have serious concerns to if it's going to come out in March. I really do. I can almost see it being delayed for, like, at least a month. At least. Oh, you're getting the, the Super Edition. Grumper. Get my Black Armored Edition hard copy in the 11th. Oh, fancy. It's because I'm scared of piracy. I've seen the PR guy give hints that it's because of piracy. Yeah, I mean, it's sensible, isn't it? It's not... It, it, even, like, piracy aside, you're gonna do what... Basically, unfortunately, guys, I mean, I hate to be part of the problem here, but I, it kind of is part of the problem. It's not, it's, not, it's not my fault that they're doing it like this, but... They also know that people like me are going to buy it on the 360 and then are going to buy a copy on a PC as well. At least on sale, if not full retail version. So it's going to earn them... It earns them not only more money because they know the PC version is superior thanks to better graphics, better frame rate and mods. It is going to be the superior version. So no, a lot of people are going to buy it. So release the old versions first because for people that can't wait... Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And like I say, I'm part of the problem, but it's not, it's not my business decision to do what they're doing. It could be just a case of, like, they just need more time to bug fix it. You know, bug fixing for a PC is harder than what it is for a console. But... I've heard some weird stuff about that Rambo game. Like, it's on rails. Like, you, you don't actually control anything. It's on rails. 
They should have just made it like that. Just make it a cheap game, like eight or nine quid, under a tenner. Put it on, on like, rails. So it's sort of like, you know, like the old school arcade shooting games. You know, like the, the, the rail shooters. Make it like that, like, you know, Virtua Copper and House of the Den and stuff like that. Make it a bit like that, but a bit more up to date and modern. Make it a rail shooter like that, a bit like, almost like what Dead Space was like on the Wii. With like on rail kind of shooty kind of thing. Make it like that. Make it the right price. Bob's your uncle. Developers don't understand, like, price is incredibly important. It really is. Reviewers don't get this either. Reviewers don't ever factor in fucking price. It's like, look, you might love this game, but you didn't pay anything for it. If you had to pay money for it, you might have been a bit, like, less lenient on certain problems. Like, oh, it's a bit of a problem, but it's not too bad. You know, you can be alright with it. It's like, yeah, but you got your copy for free. If you paid 30, 40 pounds or more for it, that is actually very fucking annoying. And it's the same the other way around. Where, like, certain indie games are, like, four pounds. Five pounds at most. But yet they get, like, scrutiny as if it was a 55 pound Xbox One game or something like that. It's like, look, you've got to cut it a bit of slack. It's A, it's an indie game. And B, it's incredibly cheap. You know, like, the lack of quality or the lack of content has been reflected in the developer's pricing decision to make it right. And, like, like I say, reviewers don't factor in that anywhere near enough. I remember the old Rambo game. Rambo does have an arcade game, though. Yeah, I remember the Rambo arcade game. I played it quite a bit. It had that little Uzi, didn't it? Little fucking Uzi with a little button on front that shot, um, shot grenades. It was, it was great. Really, really fucking good. I, I played shit tons of that. I think I've told this story before. Where the first time I went abroad, I went to Spain when I was four. I think I was like four. Four and a half at most. And I went to Spain with my mum. First time I'd ever been abroad. It was all great. Yep, good shit. My mum and all the other group that we were with and stuff like that, they went into some kind of like, it wasn't like a bar as such, but it was some, some kind of thing like that. And um, it connected into, I think it was like a family friendly kind of place and then it connected into a proper bar then. And I could see, there was like a connecting like walkway, and through the walkway, I could see a arcade machine. It was fucking Rambo. Funny, like I say, it just kind of linked around. It was the Rambo arcade game, with all its gun and all flashing lights and da 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 So me, I was like, wow, that looks fucking great. So I wandered off me, wandered straight over into fucking club side, started playing, well, I, I, I couldn't play, but I was like watching it and stuff like that, checking all the fucking... Um, the coin ejection slot, see if there were any money left in there, fucking try and get a free game, but no dice. And, um, so I was, I was stood there, like, watching this Rambo game for a good, like, 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. And, um, some lass came over to me. She must have been about 18, 19, and I, like I said, I was only four and a half, 18, 19 year old lass came over to me, like, are you alright there, lad? You know, you're by yourself, you're not, you're not by yourself, are you? I'm like, oh, no, no, I've got, I've got, I've got my mum. She, and she's like, well, w where is your mum? I'm like, oh, she's, I, I don't know, like, over there somewhere. So this, this thankfully, this really nice lass, because it could have been a fucking dodgy-ass dude that fucking kidnapped me or some shit like that. But thankfully, it was some nice lass. And she went, no, come on, let's go find your mum, because I'm sure she's worried about you. And holy shit, my mum was not pleased at me. She was going out of a fucking nut, man. Seriously fucking worried. You would do, wouldn't you? You're on holiday. My dad's like, look after him, don't fucking lose him in Spain. She's like, I'm not gonna bloody lose him in Spain and shit like that. And she must have gone for a like, oh my god, Bill said don't lose him in Spain, that's exactly what I've done. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she didn't like, she didn't crack me out like that for it, but she gave me a mouthful, definitely, <laughs> she was not pleased. Fuck, fuck, it was a nice last though, like I say, there is some good fuck. Game Facts says the PC version of Dark Souls on March 13th. But the, see, the developer doesn't say that. That's the thing. You, if you go to, like, proper... Like, go to, like, Shop 2, or go to Amazon, and try to pre-order a copy of Dark Souls 2 for the PC, doesn't tell you a release date. Try find something direct from, from software saying... March 14th or March 11th or 12th, whatever it is in America, for the PC version. 
I don't think you'll find it. I, well, certainly when I looked about a week ago, you cannot find it. I mean, I've not ordered my version of Dark Souls 2 yet, but still. Like, it is awfully looking like it's going to be a 360 version. I, I, I really, like... I've, I, I, I've got to agree with Tonk on this. I don't hold GameFAQs as a credible source. I, I, if Shop 2 doesn't have a pre-order date, and Amazon doesn't have a pre-order date, and From Software hasn't said anything about the exact date of the PC release. They've said, yep, PS3, this day. Xbox, this day. PC, no. That makes me worried. Amazon says no. Let me look at this. Amazon says no. I looked a week ago on Amazon, and they weren't saying shit. They weren't saying shit a week ago. Cause actually, I was, I was looking around at the prices of Dark Souls 2 last week. Dark Souls 2, Black Armor Edition, PC CD. When it loads. Pre-order price guarantee. If I click on the PS3 version, it's not available. The standard edition. This item will be released on March 14th. Xbox 360 version, standard edition. This item will be released on March 14th. PC version, standard edition. This item has not been yet released. Same for the Black Armor and the Collector's Edition. This item has not yet been released. No release date on it. I, didn't, I, I, thought, there, I thought there was no release date. Oh, in the picture. In the picture. I apologise, you did say that to begin with. I can't see anything for the picture. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It doesn't say anywhere, like, on Amazon's text, March 14th. But it does say on the Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition little image thing, showing you the couple of CDs and all the three different, like, steel books and stuff like that. It says March 14th. But there is an... Oh, dude, there's an asterisk next to March 14th. Wait, I, find, I need to find a bigger picture of um, that. There's a, there's a fucking... Oh, it, says, it might be while supplies last. But seriously, dude, that's the only place. That, that one picture is the only thing now that I've seen. That, but that's like... It's not saying specific versions. I think like the PC version probably shouldn't have been put on that picture. I'm not sure. Still, a little bit of hope. A little bit of, a little bit of hope. I mean, I hope, I hope it comes out. Like I said, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it comes out on the PC at the same time, like, but that's the the only thing I've seen that says March 14th. Everywhere else says no date for it yet, no date for it yet. From software won't say a date for it yet, but yet the picture does say March 14th, and there is a version of the PC one there. PS3, 360, and PC version all in that same picture, so. Otoji never realised his mum was raging he got found. It was the first attempt at putting him up for adoption. OTG is a treasure trove of great anecdotes. <laughs> sometimes, some nights, sometimes a story, I mean, people have pointed out, well, a couple of people have pointed out a couple of times, like, you know, uh, uh, some of the stories are starting to overlap a little bit, but shit, when you, if you've been, if you've been, if you've been watching my stuff for six years and stuff like that, or whatever, you know, some, there's gonna be some overlap, isn't there? There's gonna be some overlap. I bet a lot of folk, I bet a lot of folk, especially you guys here at the moment, stuff like that, I bet you, uh, no, Claire's not pre-ordered a copy yet, it'll be me that pre-orders all stuff, I'll be pre-ordering myself and Claire a copy, but no, she, we're, I'm not pre-ordering any copies for us yet, either PC or 360, or PS3. I mean, the only reason I'm getting a 360 version is because I got the original on the 360, and I've still got a year's worth of Xbox Live subscription, because I've got Killer Instinct and, and bought a year's subscription to that. The question is, what's better, release date that doesn't hold, or no release date at all until the developer is fairly sure of it? I would say the second, me. I hate being fucked about. Like, somebody, t this is this is why, you know, when I never say to you, like, oh, people, like, say to you, oh, when are you doing, say, Metal Gear Solid 3? I said, well, it could be tomorrow, or it could be Monday, but, you know, like, I won't say a specific day. I mean, it will be one of the two, but I won't say a specific day. I don't like fucking people around, because I don't like being fucked around. If somebody says to me, when are you streaming next time? If I don't know, like, I, I know that tomorrow or Monday, one of the two I will be streaming, one or the other. 
So I can say that, but sometimes people say, oh, when are you streaming again next? It's like, if I don't know, I don't say. And like, so I'd agree with the second one there. I, I don't like when developer says, oh, this day, and then it, it gets pulled. Especially when it's so close to release, that's very annoying. Oh, yeah, but like I was saying, like, a lot of folk will know my stories and shit by now, and, um... Like I say, I bet folk can predict the mannerisms sometimes as well. They're or certainly not surprised, anyway. I think the asterisk with March 14th on that picture, though, was just, like, while stocks last. I think that was the, um, the subtext to it, but... I almost wonder if the PC version shouldn't have been put on that. Or, it was, it's an old picture from months back. That's another theory as well. The picture could be months old when all the... I mean, months ago, they were all supposed to release on the same day because it was meant to be developed on the PC and the other versions were the part. So, a few months back... Yeah, a few months ago, everybody was assuming it was coming out. Like, last year, end of last year, everybody was... Ass oh, excuse me. Was assuming... Oh, don't, don't say he doesn't have a PS3. I do. I do have a PS3. Grumpy Gil sent me it. Uh, and, um... <laughs> Grumpy Gil's there. He doesn't have a PS3. S fucking tongue smiler. <laughs> I do. Uh, the PS3 version will probably run better. But, like, say, um... I I've, got, I've got a year's worth of Xbox Live, so I may as well make use out of it. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway, because I've been migrating to the PC version. So it doesn't even matter what... I'm only getting it to play it early, in quote marks. Um, yeah, like I say, thanks, thanks as always, Grumpy Girls. That has been, like, a very, very cool donation. Um, I apologise that I've not finished Demon's Souls 2 yet. Uh, sorry, not Demon's Souls 2, Demon's Souls. I think I need to um, put that onto the shortlist as well. It's Metal Gear Solid 3. And... Episode 2 of the, of the short shortlist. Metal, Demon's Souls needs finishing as well. It really does. It really does. And the, what else did you have on? You put something else on there as well, didn't you? Like Last of Us. I need to do Last of Us as well. Dragon's Dogma was... At, uh, Alpha Centauri, what the heck is Dragon's Dogma? I looked at Dragon's Dogma, like, how long to be? It's like a 50-hour game, is that? 50 fucking hours? That's longer than what I'd spent playing Dark Souls recorded for YouTube. As long as that, dude. That is long. So, I, I've got to find the right time to play. I think that's going to be something like a year or two down the road when, you know, Dark Souls 2 is old hat by then or whatever like that. A year or two down the line, I thought, ooh, I actually fancy like playing something kind of like Dark Souls, but not. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know why not, I mean, like... Um, Duplo's pretty much saying, like, you know, why not get the PS3 version? It's superior, pretty much. You know, free PSN and Blu-rays are better and stuff like that. I mean, like, it's like I say, it's purely down to... it. I mean, I would get the PS3 version if it weren't for the fact that I've got a year's working worth of Xbox Live sub. I may as well get use out of it if I'm not playing Killer Instinct at the moment. So, um... That's it. It really just boils down to that. That, that is it. Plus, people... There'll be a lot more people that I know playing on the 360 version, so I'll be able to, like, get some, like, people together and play on stream and whatever like that. So that's another reason as well. There'll be more people that I know of playing on the 360 version, so... Just one of those things. Do you plan to play Heavy Rain on the PS3? No immediate plans, but I would like to. Claire loves that game. She watched Chrono Gears play through that. She fucking loved it. And it, look, it looks like a good game. So, um, yeah, maybe at some point I need to get a copy of it. Uh, will there be any more Community Planet Side 2 nights? I'm not sure. To be completely honest, I'm not sure at the moment. I thought Planet Side was a great game, and it's quite easy to get folk in there and play as a community game. But there's something that I... Just the way that it plays out... It's... I, I don't know, there's something... I really like the game, I'm not, not just in it in the slightest. But there, I don't know, like, how long it takes to unlock different weapons. And the way that the base attacks play out and stuff like like a numbers game. And like, who sees who's first and stuff. And like I said, I'm not dissing the game. I really enjoyed Planet Side 2. And I think it's a great game. I, I really enjoyed playing what I did of it. But, like I said, if I had to be honest and someone said to me, are you going to play Planet Side 2 in the next couple of weeks? I'd probably say, nah, I'm probably not. If I'm going to do a community game, it's probably going to be Quake or Titanfall. And then there's Dark Souls 2 and stuff like that. So, like I said, the long and short is... Anytime soon? Probably not. 
It might be one of those things like, you know, later on, like, later in the year, I go, oh, well, let's play some Plant Side 2 again for a bit. So it might come back again, who knows. You know what I'm like, though, with games, man. Play it today, forgotten tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, it's, and it's no slight against the game. Oh dear, it's gonna get stream sniped like fuck. I really am. When I'm um, gonna be streaming it, I, I'm, I'm gonna get fucked over. Huh? Really, really badly fucked over. I'll have to like unhook the um, the the 360 from the net. If it, if it gets too bad, I might have to unhook the 360. I don't wanna be a pussy like that though and unhook the 360. Take it offline just so you can't get invaded. And it's like that ruins part of the game. It, it's it's been designed like that, but the problem is, I don't think the developers have designed the game in mind to stream snipes. You know, people consistently over and over and over and over and over invading you while trying to get progression down. Kitty cat. Oh meow. Who's a good girl? Is that you? Hey. You've been a good girl today. You have, haven't you? You shake your head. You've not been a good girl. Have you not been a good girl? Because you shook your head. <laughs> good girl. Blade Symphony and Company of Heroes 2. Yeah, I need to play some Company of Heroes 2, actually. I need to get installed. I bet it's a huge fucking install, but I do want to uninstall that. Um, not uninstall, sorry. Install. I install it yet. How can I install it? But I was tempted when it was on sale. Before I was tempted to get it, and I missed the sale. And I'm like, no. But somebody snagged it. It was on sale recently, wasn't it? And somebody snagged, snagged it for me um, and gifted me it. So big thanks for that. Was it High Lord Silver? I'm not sure. That name just sprung to me, uh, my mind then. I'm not sure. I didn't think Last of Us was that great. Oh, is it, is it not grumpy? Is it not? I mean, I've heard like really weird things about it. Like some folk love it and some folk think, some folk say, oh, so fucking boring. So I don't know what to think about it. I really don't. Is a cat scratching my slip? What are you doing? You clawing at my slippers? What are you doing? Any thoughts on a 24 hour stream with the release of Dark Souls 2? I think that would be quite punishing to do 24 hours on release. I think I think I might say 12 hours and then I'll see how it goes towards 24 hours. Tw 12 hours, dude, is very, very rough. Like, as an example, I mean, this th today I've been streaming for almost five hours. That's note for me. Five hours is no. I'll be, I'll be going in the next 10 minutes, guys. I'm going to go up to five hours and then I'm going to take my leave. But five hours, meh. Water for ducks back. That's no. Especially when I'm doing an HDSF. Holy shit. Three hours of an HDSF. And half an hour and a half an hour at the beginning and end. Like four hour stream or something like that. Seriously, I could do it standing on my head. No worries. But to some folk, four hours, five hours is a long fucking time of stream. Twelve hours is almost impossible. Now even for me, twelve hours is quite grueling. It really is. It can be quite grueling, twelve hours. But it can be done. Without too much problem. As long as I've got some snacks and, you know, some good fuel to keep going through it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think my chat's died. Sorry if I've not responded to anybody, but my chat's died. Um, but pretty damn grueling, 12 hours. But I've got the stamina and shit like that, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. However, once it goes... Uh, even I noticed, once it went over... Oh, I can't reconnect to chat. I don't know what's going off there. But even after um, 12 hours, you start to feel it. Start to fucking feel it. I think I did like, what was the record? I've done like 13 or 14 hours or something like that. It really starts to fucking get woof. Talking almost consistently for 12 plus hours. It, it, runs, it runs you down. It really fucking does. And then having to play a game. You're trying to play the game well. You're trying to do the commentary well. You're trying to like, you know, read the stream chat and respond to folk. And you know, it, it's like, it's a lot. It, it, it's hard to do anything for 12 hours plus. I mean, shit, you couldn't even shag for 12 hours plus, you know? <laughs> even great shit you could not do for 12 hours plus, so... Uh, you couldn't eat for 12 hours plus? There's not many things you could do for 12 hours plus like like that without getting knackered. Oh, I guess you could sleep. Oh, 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 yes, you could sleep for 12 hours without getting knackered, I guess. But then again, you'd wake up tired. That's what happens when you sleep that long. But, uh, yeah, I think I could definitely um, commit myself to a 12-hour stream on Dark Souls 2 release. Definitely. Definitely. 
and maybe go for 24 hours. I think that's the time to go for 24 If there was ever a time to do a 24 hour stream, then that was it. So maybe, dudes, maybe. I'm at least saying 12 hours at the moment, and I'll see how it goes near the time. And if I can get some good supplies and provisions together, get the right sleep pattern ready for it, boom, maybe. Maybe go for 24 hours. But I'd like to say 12 so there's no commitment, and then get to 12 and go, you know what, 24, now let's go. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised there's no news on Dragon's Dogma 2. It seemed alright to me. From what I played and what I'd heard of it, it seems alright. Not as good as Dark Souls, obviously, but, you know, a good game and worth playing and worth absorbing into for quite a while. So... It is strange how they didn't get a sequel. Rocky training montage, yeah, through the fucking... for 24 hours. <laughs> it does seem like the best... that's the best um, plan of attack, though. If you're going to do 24 hours, do it with a new release of a game and something like Dark Souls where I can just guarantee to be in there. But thing is, Dark Souls is demanding. Playing a game like Dark Souls fresh, you don't know what you're doing properly in it yet. It's changed up. It's a hard game to play, period. Playing that well, keeping the commentary up well for 24 hours, I'm going to feel that. I'm going to feel that certainly after a 24-hour stream, you probably won't see me for a couple of days. I'll be sleeping for one day and relaxing for another day. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. You're haunting me, cat. You are. You're haunting. Why are you haunting me? Huh? They can't hear you when you mail that quietly. I know you're talking to me, so you don't need to shout, but still nobody can hear you. That's a good girl, though. Aren't you? Who's a good girl? Hey. As always, Dallin, you were in your spot, weren't you? For so much of the stream. And then Claire, like, moved you out of it. But still, you were a good girl, weren't you? You are a good girl. No, don't jump up, darling. Good girl. Maybe it's a guaranteed possibly, but not really, but sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I've done over 12 hours before, Dante. I've, I've done like, I think it was, um, it was either 12 or 13 hours. It was, it was either over 12 or over 13, one or the other. That was um, Call of Duty Ghosts. I think I did like 11 hours on the first day and then 13 hours on the second day or something like that. So, yeah, 12, 12 hours I can do. Fuck, that's no. It, 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 it gets grueling a little bit near the end, you know. Once you get to about eight or nine hours, it can be a bit of work for the last few, but it's not too bad. You start to get a bit brain dead, but it's not too bad. Five. Half of that. Five, it, like, I mean, the usual stream night for me is about four to six hours, in it? Somewhere around there. Unless I'm going for a marathon for whatever reason, about four to six hours. That, that's no problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. But like I say, for some folk, like, doing an hour without a break is, like, is fucking hard work. It makes me laugh when I watch, like, um, some StarCraft commentated games. Like, they're doing the commentary live at the place and stuff. And it's like, oh, I've been commentating for the last two hours now, I need a break and stuff. It's like, two hours? You're only comment And, like, of those two hours, it was only, like, about 18 minutes most of gameplay. So, it's like, that's not that bad, dude. Two hours and you need a break. You know, if, if they've done, like, 12 or something like that, you go, yeah, okay, t you know, 12 hours of commentary and, you know, like, having to facilitate things. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. But two hours, make me laugh. Are you going to go back to I want to be the boss, yeah? Yeah, at some point, probably. Yeah. Really, really fucking hard, but a great game. That's, like, the best I want to be the guy type game I've played, is that. I think that's actually better than I want to be the guy. But to be fair, it came a long time after I want to be the guy, so fair enough, eh? But it is the best one I've ever played. Kitty. Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Right then, dudes. I shall take my leave. 
Hey, it was a good bit of Titanfall. I got another community game in there tonight as well. A bit of Flappy Birds and uh, a bit of Quake. The Quake game was ace. That was so close. It was it was close from about 60 or 70 kills or something like that. And it stayed close for about another 